Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Labasha and welcome to the Slay Squad. So today I'm going to be taking you guys through my skincare routine and more specifically my nighttime skincare routine because with the amount of times I usually snooze in the morning, I just don't have time to do all of these steps. So first I usually start off with my Carson's baby oil and this is the one with the almond and rose oil and I use this to remove my eye makeup as well as my lipstick if I will have worn lipstick on that day and an alternative for this is coconut oil or olive oil but I prefer the smell of the baby oil and that's why I usually use it instead then moving on to my face I usually go in with uh, wipes to start off breaking down the makeup and over here I'm using the mini sock cleansing wipes and these ones actually do leave your face very uh, moisturize they don't dry out your skin and I really really enjoyed using them but I normally usually just use baby wipes because it's like 200 shillings for 80 of them and I believe that if it's good enough to use on the baby then it's good enough for my face then onto my cleanser I usually use the Garnier even and matte gentle clarifying foam and this product claims to one cleanse and clarify to visibly even your skin tone and three improve your skin complexion the reason that i really really love this product is because of the lather like if i don't see a lather i usually feel as if i've not washed my face and this gives me plenty of lather and when i have worn makeup i usually find that i feel like it's necessary to go in with my cleansing brush so that's what i'm doing right here and i don't use this too often because it can be harsh on your skin you don't need to exfoliate your skin every day unless maybe you have eczema i don't know my friend has eczema and she told me she has to exfoliate every day so if you have eczema maybe you'd like this brush i don't know don't quote me but you can try it then of course you want to go ahead and rinse off your face and of course pat dry then again, uh, this is another step that I usually use only on days that I feel like I have worn a lot of makeup and I really need to like make sure all the makeup is out of my skin. Usually my skincare routine will have ended on the previous step, but this one is just an extra one. I go in with the Pure Active 3-in-1 Clay and this one, uh, it's like a 3-in-1 product. It's a wash, a scrub and a mask all in one. So basically you can buy this one product alone and you'll have your entire skincare in one bottle personally I usually use it as either a scrub or a mask so over here I'm using it as a mask and it works really well as a mask because it has white clay and the white clay just sucks out all the impurities from your face now over here I was talking to my brother because he was the one helping me film and making sure I was in frame and in focus so I'm just giving the mask 15 minutes to dry off before I rinse it all out And the second last step in my skincare is toning. I usually really try to tone every time that I wash my face because toning just really helps to return the pH balance of your face back to normal after using all of those products. And the one that I'm using is the Even and Matte Soft Smoothing Toner from Garnier again. It claims to soften skin, revive and refresh, eh, refresh, <laughs> refresh and visibly illuminate your skin i really love tuners and this one i think is my favorite one so far then for moisturizing i go ahead and use my nivea soft this is the moisturizer that i've used for the longest time so if you followed me for a really long time then you know it and that is it for this week's video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every mondays and thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye